Welcome back everyone. So it's been a while since we had iOS 14 on our devices. It has been a while. It's been like a couple of days, but even then I've tested all my devices that are pretty much supported except the latest iPhone 11 series. I've tested all the iPhones below that for the most part. And I even compare them side by side in terms of speed and even the battery life. And one thing I can tell you is that within this first beta, I'm going to say it's pretty good. Okay. It's, I think it's amazing for what it's bringing the features, the capabilities, the new capabilities with existing phones, which is really impressive, such as the back tap feature. And I even saw that battery life for the most part, I would say for like the iPhone 7 and up, it really wasn't too big of a difference from iOS 14 and iOS 13, which is good. The only thing is with my iPhone 8, that battery test, which I think somebody's going to bring up, my battery health was degraded a little bit on that iOS 14 device, meaning that the battery could have been affected a little bit by that. It has nothing to do with iOS 14. Now, before I even get 20 seconds and more into this video, I'm going to tell you, do not install iOS 14 on your main device. Don't listen to anybody when anybody says, I've tested these, I've tested literally iOS 14 on all my devices, so many phones, and I can tell you, it's just not worth it. I'm running into issues on all my phones at different times. So so somebody can run it on the first two days, runs perfectly fine, and then the next day, totally wrong, then next day, totally broken. I've had random reboots all over the place, and I don't even think it's that big of a deal. I think a lot of people are expecting me to be like, oh my god, like you should you make a video criticizing Apple, but that's not what a beta program is for. A beta program is for developers to kind of you know see and talk about and fix. And even for people like us, you know, the reviewers of these things to go and talk about and address these problems and, you know, address the really good highlights of them too. So that's why I tell you, don't install it on your main phone. It's just not worth it. I already made a separate video talking about this. But as a whole, when it officially comes out or when the public beta comes out, there's going to be so much capability behind these devices, which is so sweet. Now, the one thing that I'm going to actually the two things that I'm going to hit on, and these two things are probably some of the most important things that a lot of people are going to ask questions about, and that's speed and battery life. So when it comes down to those two things, and my voice just changed up on me, I will tell you this, the battery life isn't going to be too big of a difference, in my opinion, going from iOS 13 to iOS 14. And this is the first beta. So by the time the official version comes out, at least iOS 14.0, I'm going to tell you guys, like, it's going to be pretty decent, and it's going to be about the same as iOS 13, which is really good now again you have to keep in mind we're comparing the latest version of the you know stable software of ios 13 to a beta of ios 14 so there's going to be problems but if this is how it's looking like i mean if this is the starting point i think ios 14 is going to have pretty decent battery life overall now going one step further with the performance side of things i saw there wasn't really that big of a difference between performance i saw that they were about the same i was honestly kind of seeing that ios 13 was faster more times than not on most of my devices but still totally okay i don't really care too much about the performance the biggest thing that ios 14 is amazing at and this is why i really wanted to highlight those two previous things because apple really didn't go and say oh better better like better this better that. they were focusing on things that a lot of people were complaining about most people weren't really complaining about the performance they weren't really complaining about the battery life at all i mean if you have an iphone 7 great chances are your battery life's not going to be that great but if you have an iphone 11 pro max or iphone 10 or whatever you're going to have better battery life on those things so apple really focused in on the most important features that we wanted and things like home widgets the smaller siri which we still can't move around in but totally okay craig fiorici said he might change that picture in picture the app library, which is so awesome, and a ton of other updates. These are things that Apple is purposely pushing out, and, and these are some of the biggest visual changes. And I said this before iOS 14 came out. I said visual changes are going to be some of the more important things, and it looks like they really did it. And the fact that we have a pretty stable release, I'm going to say it's pretty stable, even though it's messing up on all my devices. For a beta, it's really not that bad. And like I said, if this is the starting point, I can only imagine what the official version is going to come out. Now, this is how I feel about iOS 14. iPad OS 14 is a little bit of a different story, and I'm going to make a separate video talking about that. But iOS 14, I'm going to tell you guys right now, so far my experience with it has been great. I'm kind of taking away and putting to the side those specific glitches and little random shutdowns and all this stuff because I don't use them as a main phone. I am aware of those issues, but I'll start criticizing those things if we're on like beta 12 and it's still happening. But the first beta, I'm going to tell you for what it brings, I think it's amazing. It's going to be a really, really great update. And hopefully Apple doesn't screw something up and totally bricks everyone's phones for some reason <laughs> so that's really pretty much it i like ios 14 actually i love ios 14 and i think it's amazing 
If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.